Good to get a W to start the year. Uh, just I told the guys downstairs, uh, every win, every win uh, is something that uh, they've worked hard for. Make sure we enjoy it. Go back to work. We have a lot of things that we now have on film that we can, we know we can correct and, and uh, understand the, the things that we're really good at and the things we need to continue to work on. So uh, proud of the, of the way they came out. Started fast, both sides of the ball. You know, feeding off each other. Thought the energy was great. Just sustained it all all game long. And uh, got a lot of guys a chance to play. Questions? Uh, Start on the left side with Matt, second row. Two catches, two touchdowns for Ryan Williams. Just what do you think of his performance? Yeah, he's had he's got that big play capability as uh, as you saw, and he's done a lot of that in practice. And was excited to see him get out there, big third down uh, down the sideline. Great read by uh, Jalen with the coverage he was getting. And we uh, we anticipated a, a possible route down the sideline in a situation like that. It was really cool to see those guys execute. And, Ryan uh, just you know hauling the ball and, and finish and you know coming across the middle on the second touchdown, it was just you know really focused and it just doesn't seem like the game's too fast for him. So uh, it was impressive that a guy you know his age uh, can go out there and do the things he's doing. You know, obviously we've talked a lot about him. He's got a bright future. It's really fun to see him go out there and make those plays that he did tonight. So the guys believe in him and uh, he's just. I think one of the cool things about Ryan is he's gone about it. You know, a lot of attention gets thrown his way, but he's just gone about it and really humble and just, you know, matter of fact, stay the course type of, of uh, you know, just go to work every type of day attitude. And our guys really appreciate that. I think they're just as excited as he is for him, uh, you know, with the plays that he made today. Stay on the left side in the bag, Nick. Yeah, it looked like Kate Brockman had sustained an injury during warm-ups. What happened there? What's his status? Yeah, unfortunately, it did. Um, just caught me by surprise, obviously, and you know couldn't uh, couldn't go tonight. And we'll continue to evaluate tomorrow just to see the severity of it, and uh, you know kind of know more here as the week goes on. Jump on the right side, second row, Anna. Uh, you know, outside yeah. of Outside of Ryan, you know, Xavier Brown, he got the start. Daniel Hill also got his third touchdown. I'm just curious, what do you see, you know, from that group of freshmen on Thursday? Yeah, it's really exciting. You know, it gives you a lot of promise uh, for, for what's to come. And, you know, the thing about those guys is they're just getting gain more and more confidence with everything that they do. And those reps tonight, you know, they all matter. And I tell the guys that every rep we're going to keep getting better as a team. But there are certain guys, like the ones you mentioned, Daniel and um, you know, Ryan, um, many others, uh, uh, Xavier, that uh, just went out there and just didn't seem like the lights were too bright for them. And that's really cool. And they got you know, one day at a time. They're just going to keep getting better. They're going to be they're going to be great players for us uh, in the long haul. Left side front row, Tony. Just how explosive can this offense be? And do you like that? Did you like seeing that, or would you have almost rather have a few more sustained drives? Both. I mean, you know, but how can you argue, right? Uh, you know, there's there's things that weren't perfect, but we made up for. So now, what you want to look at is those plays that didn't go as well, and, and really dial in on, you know, some of the mistakes, the penalty here, penalty there. Uh, you know, we had a we had a, a communication. Um, I think we we did snap the ball. I think maybe Parker was trying to to signal something and and uh, get the line locked in and that's just a quarterback center kind of being on the same page and then all of a sudden you know it was time to snap the ball uh, when Jalen clapped so just things like that that we can continue to get better at but when we had the opportunity to make the plays you know I'm never gonna be disappointed that we're finding ways to have explosives that's a big part of what our offense is about we preach it we practice it and uh, that's that was that was fun to see uh, I didn't you know really realize it until I looked at the time of possession maybe uh, in the first half there a little bit our defense, you know, you saw that one drive, especially they were on the field for quite a while. That just kind of added to it. Uh, they, you know, I'm never going to argue though when we uh, have those big plays, those those touchdowns that we had. So Chase on the front row on the right side. Yeah, Coach, want to ask you about two guys. How did you think Pritchett played on the left side, given that I assume he's gotten most of his practice reps on the right side? And also your thoughts on on Keon Sapp's night in the first half, a couple picks. Yeah, it was. You know, Pritchett really. As you said, I mean, he has, and I know you're not there, but he has taken pretty much 
all his reps at the right tackle spot. You know, I think we really went back to what he did this spring playing left tackle, and it was something that I know gave me confidence, and I'm sure it gave him. And, you know, he and Booker took all those uh, reps, you know, all spring long for 15 practices. And so I think they just really honed back in on that. Uh, and, I, you know, I watched the film, but it, obviously there was a lot of good things that happened out there. And you don't do that without great offensive line play. So uh, excited about the way he responded all of a sudden in the moment, getting thrown into that position and really just being steady. Uh, Keon, sad, just, you know, the guy that needed it was at the right spot at the right time and made the plays. You know, that's that's what it's all about. A lot of guys will be where they need to be and, and all that, but a little special play here and there, um, maybe it goes through their hands. You know, Keon, uh, you need to see he was ready for that moment. He pounced to him when the opportunity came and made some really big, big plays and got our offense in some great field position there early in the game. Go to Ryan standing up on the back left. Coach, a big win, but everything outside of the actual game. Walk of Champions, fourth quarter, big ceiling delay. What was your impressions of your first game at Bryant Denny Stadium? Yeah, a lot of fun. The, the Walk of Champions, I think, was special for a lot of our players. It's always going to be that way. And uh, it's, you know, can't thank our, our fans enough. Uh, you can just feel the energy even before, you know, you're not even here around the stadium or, or knowing what's going on, but you can just feel the buzz. And that was a, a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the new guys, I think, especially enjoying it. Uh, the older guys uh, just know what it's all about. And being in that stadium tonight, you know, we did a great job of giving them something to cheer for, and uh, our fans were amazing. You know, cheering and uh, being loud. So, uh, can't wait to do it again uh, a week from now. Let's go, Emily Grace, in the middle of the room. Thank you, Coach. How do you feel like your staff executed the game plan as a whole on your first game? Inside Brighton, can you clarify the in-helmet communication at the beginning of the game without the Yeah, actually, so that it wasn't in in-helmet communication. It was actually that their headsets went down. And the rules state that when the opponent's headsets go down, you have to take yours down too. And so I'm sure you guys figured it out. But Nick, Sh Nick Sheridan, play caller up in the booth, actually had to come down. And so no time, you know, uh, to, to get him down there and then you know, that's not something that they're going to plan for and let you do, but we, we were able to hustle him down and then, of course, trying to get him back up there, and then theirs went down a second time, and so it was kind of a back and forth. But I thought, I thought our staff did a great job because that's something you don't practice. You know, you just in all my years, I've never had it happen to where we had to put our headphones down because of someone else's. So maybe it happens more often than I understand. Um, should practice it, but that's that was a new one for me. Uh, I think also the other one that was new for me was, I think maybe by the third play in the game or one of the early plays, we had put two helmets come off of two of our linemen at the same the same play, and so all of a sudden we had a different center, left guard and left tackle from what we practiced all along. So kids did a great job of just adjusting to the adversity, not not uh, getting too shaken, and just continue to, to play, and the next guys were ready to go. So. I thought our staff, I think there's some same little things. Um, we had a substitution error. Uh, we got 12 guys on the field one time defensively. Those are certain things that we'll talk about tomorrow um, besides breaking down the film and, and coaching our guys up fundamentally and then schematically. Right, jump on the right side, Charlie. Head coach, it, it kind of looked like you guys rotated a lot of guys on defense, especially in the back end. Just how beneficial is it to get those guys to experience that guys tonight? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. And, and I'm really glad that we got that opportunity. And of course, that's part of what we want to do anyway, keeping guys fresh, uh, being able to sustain a high level for four quarters and not just uh, dying off, uh, but you know, get, getting a lot of young guys. You know, you see Mbakwe and Redder out there a lot. Uh, and so just they're right in the rotation and felt good about them being out there. Never really, you know, lots of sometimes when there's guys you don't trust or anything, your eyes kind of get drawn to them just to make sure that you feel they feel good and they look confident, and um, that's not even the case. I don't even feel like I gotta worry about whether they're ready to go or not. So um, the secondary just thought, for the most part, they really didn't have big mistakes where all of a sudden someone was running free through the secondary and we just uh, dropped the zone or dropped the man that we're supposed to be covering. Always things that we can get better at: situational ball, uh, some crossers and things like that that I saw in the second half there. Maybe that we can we can get better at covering, but. Uh, for the most part, I thought they did a great job. We got three more questions left. We're going to start with Steven right in the middle here. 
Coach, when, when, what makes it special having John Campbell and Keontae Moss play off each other? Yeah, just having some guys with, with a lot of confidence in themselves and guys that we have confidence in and just, you know, they're, they're, they're just staples. You know, they're just guys you trust and uh, they're, they're hard nosed. Uh, they both can, can move, uh, you know, can run really well. Uh, they're physical and so uh, very smart. A lot of the communication, especially with uh, Coach Womack to Deontay, you know, he can, he can, Deontay can handle what he's supposed to do. And, you know, if there's someone we need to have just slightly move, he can make that happen and still constant, have, a, have an understanding of what's going on in front of him from the offense. So uh, just all those areas are, are so critical when it's the middle of your defense. And they, uh, you know, again, looking, looking forward to watching the film, but just everything I saw it seemed like they had a great game. Let's go right side middle, Katie. Sticking with the defenses as a whole, how do you see them kind of embody Kane's form defense and sustain in Tennessee to hold on to the shutout? Yeah, I like the never never say die kind of like just you know dig in uh, when they had their backs to the wall and some drives that were coming down the field. Uh, one was after a, uh, a turnover on the offense. Just you know looking at that as opportunity to to make a statement. You know to just. Let everyone know that you know they got they got that mindset uh, that they're going to play together, and uh, you know it was really cool to see them get the shot out. I was happy for them, happy for happy for Kane, and uh, you know they all just they're all flying around. You know there was some times we maybe missed a tackle, but there was guys right there to uh, follow up and, and go make that play. And, and as we said, uh, the two interceptions early in the game really set the tone with key on uh, both the field position, just momentum and energy. All right, let's finish up with John, right in the middle. It seems like an awful long time since you got hired before you get to coach the first game. So when, when, when you finally get there and things are clicking so well, the offense is making big plays, the defense is making big plays for a second. I mean, was that fun? Was that kind of relief on your shoulders? What was that like? Yeah, I think there's a little bit of fun at the very end, you know, and uh, just seeing a lot of the young guys too get out there on the football field and, and, and have some fun of their own and experience uh, it for the first time. But, um, you know, I told the guys in the locker room, none of these points carry over to next week. And there's, a, there's film out there. And, and of course, there's strengths we have. But people are going to look at those areas that they can attack. And we've got to continue to just, you know, uh, understand that there's a lot of potential with this football team. Um, but we still got a lot of work to do. And it's, it's uh, going to be that way all season long. You know, and, and uh, I think that what I saw in the locker room downstairs, uh, whether it was the beginning of the game, uh, the middle of the game when, when we had a you know, score but very much in our favor. Uh, these guys have a determination, you know, and a relentlessness about them where uh, they want to be great. You know, they just don't want to go out there and, and do their thing for a half and just kind of just let the, let the score kind of die off and kind of let, let someone hang around or, you know, they wanted to shut out. They wanted to put more points on the board. And uh, I just love their mindset. All right. Thank you, Carl. Awesome. Thank you. Roll time. Thank you.